Hi and welcome to the 8th video of the tutorial series. Um, we'll begin with some organization in our project navigator. So first I will create a new folder. Uh, if you're on Xcode, then do that by pressing command alt n and name it resources. And you can put your image inside the resource folder. And then create another folder and name excuse me folder and file. So command L and and name this one frameworks. And make sure it's not in your resource folder, but outside. And and put openshell.framework and libshell.w inside the new folder or group. As it is called in Xcode. Okay, um, then uh, we will create a sprite class. So create a new file. So one dot cpp file help the monitor file. Name it sprite. Make sure to include glw in the new file. So the class will be called Sprite. It will have now only two variables. It will have shell unsigned int um, texture buffer ID and and let's create a data structure so type def struct no struct yeah and name this vector two so vector two or type it out vector two with the capital, yeah. And just give it three gel floats. So it shall float X. And, oh. So it's a simple structure with two gel floats, X and Y. So create a new data structure vector to underscore position. Okay. And then public. So it will have first up to the to the setter getter. So void set. Well, actually. Uh, void set position the argument vector two new position and vector two get position. Without any arguments. Then I also have a constructor, so just sprite, and that will have one argument, chill unsigned integer texture buffer ID. Then it will have a void draw or called render with new arguments. And one last method update again with no arguments. Okay, so I'll just copy paste all these. And almost done. Okay, so uh, in the setter, so position equals. New 
position. In the getter return, oh, return underscore position. In the constructor, I have underscore texture buffer ID equals texture buffer ID. And for now, so the render method. This will have the draw function. So GL draw arrays. So GL quad for the first argument. GL quads. 0 and 4. Then um, on top of and um, before the draw or on top of everything it will have the GL bind texture GL texture underscore 2D with the texture buffer ID as its argument. So we bind um, the texture of the, the spider class to OpenGL every time we render. So right now if we return to our game window.cpp file and we include we include the sprite not edge In our constructor, we will create a new sprite, and name it rocket, and actually, no, make it make it a variable. And best put to include into the header file. So sprite, let me get the pointer. Rocket. So that in the constructor. Rocket equals new. New, new sprite with with texture buffer ID as its argument. Then remove the GL draw arrays function from your render method and put in rocket render and make it a underscore rocket. So if you run this now, you get the same result as before. Um, next video, we will modify the position and play around with animation. Well, no animation, just translation and uh, yeah, you'll see. So see you then, bye.